Hey everybody, Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. Hey, we're, so we're standing here with Chad Alvers. He's, he's the owner of yeah. Cornerstone Home Inspection. And we, what we wanted to talk about just a little bit today is just some very basic preventative maintenance. You know, your furnace filter should be changed, you know, uh, really about what, every one or two months, Chad? Yeah, yeah. I mean, basically, furnace. Uh, when you get into a furnace, it's very, very important to keep them serviced. Uh, a lot of people fail to do that every year, but uh, we do recommend every single year to get your gas appliances, and that would be a furnace, get it serviced once a year. This is just your standard 80% efficient furnace. It's a good furnace, but it's 80% efficient. You can go all the way up to 90 to 95% efficient furnaces. Uh, but no matter what kind of a furnace you have, once a year, usually in the fall before the winter season hits, you want to call a good furnace company, have them come over, make sure they're licensed, insured, bonded, and so forth. Check them out on the BBB or something. But they're going to come out. There's quite a few little things that they can check inside a furnace. Um, and we're going to walk around to the other side of the furnace because to get to this furnace filter and humidifier, it's on the other side. But I'm going to walk around there and just show you a couple things with that. So on the back side of this furnace is where we've got the humidifier and the furnace filtration system down here. Uh, all furnaces have a furnace filter on them. This one's just kind of back here in this little closet. You pull off the good cover here and you can get to it. Um, there are all kinds of furnace filters that you can install. You can spend up to $20 to $30 for a furnace filter. Most furnace companies are going to tell you the $6 to $8 filter is going to be fine. Just make sure when you put the filter in that you're putting it in the correct way. A lot of filters have a little arrow on them. And when you look at that arrow, the arrow should essentially be pointing towards the furnace blower motor. So if you're confused, you can always talk to your furnace company or even feel free to give us a call and I'll be happy to help you out. But do make sure you get your furnace filter in the correct way. Uh, the other thing is with the humidifier, once a year, your humidifier here does have a filter that needs to be changed really only once a year though. And this right here, anybody can go purchase these at Lowe's Menards. You can change it yourself if you feel comfortable doing it. Um, but a furnace humidifier in the wintertime really can make things feel a lot better in your house. Wintertime, if we can put a little humidity back in your house in the winter, it's really going to make you feel more comfortable. Um, for more information on humidifiers and stuff, feel free to give us a call and we'll be happy to discuss them with you. Um, but Todd, do you have anything else? That no, that's actually great information. Um, I always like to point out that the, the arrow on the filter, because everybody thinks generally that the arrow is supposed to go back out through your ductwork. So like yeah, Chad no, said, the arrow needs to point towards the furnace. And then back to the back to the humidifier real quick, you know, it, it keeps your it keeps your skin more moist. Um, it'll keep uh, nosebleeds down, um, walking across the carpet and touching doorknobs, it'll keep those shocks and things of that nature down. So Chad, thanks for the uh, yeah, information. Thank you. And uh, if you guys uh, ever have any you know questions or anything of that nature um, from a home inspection standpoint. Um, or anything like that, you feel free to reach out to me or Chad. Thanks for watching. Thank you.